as this is Uma for Box Nation. We're at the final press conference with Denzel Bentley v Derek Vasazi this Saturday night, live on TNT Sports from the home of British boxing. That sounds all right, doesn't it, Derek? Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I've been there a few times, so yeah, looking forward to it. Well, I was just saying to you off camera, it's actually been a while since I've really last spoke to you properly. Uh, would have been the ultimate boxer days. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I do, funny enough, like I try to keep a low profile outside of boxing when I'm not fighting. Um, so, funny enough, I do shy away from interviews and stuff. And I was just saying to him off camera, like, when I, like, I rarely go to the public boxing shows because I like watching it as a fan at home. Um, but yeah, probably my introvert inside more, so that's probably why. Absolutely. But um, yeah, this is a, a big chance to showcase yourself to the British public. So Denzel Bentley coming off a very good win against Danny Dingham. So this could be a, a making point in your career. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, I guess so. You could say that. Um, to be fair, it's not for me to make those headlines um, or those um, comments or statements. Obviously, that's for you guys, the media. Um, for me, the way I see it is, you know, it's another fight. Another fight I've trained hard for and another fight I'm going in there to win against a very good fighter. And I'm sure Denzel thinks the same. So, not going to place too much on um, the gravity of the fight, what can come after. I never want to look at... I never want to... As a fighter, I never want to look ahead of the next fight. So I'm just focusing on Saturday. I'm going to go in there and do what we need to do to win. Just out of interest, you say you keep a low profile. So outside of training, the obvious dieting, living yeah, the yeah. life, what do you actually get up to? So actually, um, other than that, so I work at the University of Nottingham. I'm a black student sport officer. So I get to work with a lot of the students at the University of Nottingham, which is cool. That keeps me busy. Um, for people that would know, I'm actually a youth pastor at the God's Vineyard Ministries in Nottingham. Um, so I pass the young people as well. Um, yeah, I do a lot in the community and stuff. And yeah, life is very busy. On top of that, also being a dad, I've got two young boys at home. Um, one of them, who I'm going to be sure is watching the fight. Um, but yeah, um, so outside of training, yeah, very busy. And I feel like, yeah, I just enjoy sort of kind of being out of the spotlight. Um, and I think also it means that it creates a bit more mystique when I appear. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I'm guessing then faith and religion is a big part of your mm -hmm. boxing journey as well, Derek. Of course, hundred percent. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here if not for my faith. You know, boxing is a very tough sport, and I think um, the tough elements of the sport are everything that happens outside of the ring. Um, the training and competing, I think, is the easiest part. It's all sort of kind of the things that have nothing to do with your performance in the ring. Um, so at times it can be challenging, it can be frustrating. There's times when I thought, you know what, am I? Do I still want to remain in the sport? Um, but so my faith is really big because, you know, God's timing is everything, and I believe He has a plan. So I wouldn't be standing there if He didn't. So yeah, big for me. I wouldn't be here if not for my faith. That's good to hear. When the Derek Asazi story ends in boxing, I'm talking about, which is many years away. Wow. Uh, what, what what does it look like? Do you know what? It's hard because if you asked me this question like two, three years ago. I would have hit you with like three or five year plans, you know. I would have said, yeah, I've got this, I'm going to do this. But if I'm being honest, at the end of my career, I will sit down comfortably know, knowing that I trained, I put everything I could into this sport. Um, and hopefully I'm sitting there proud of my achievements. I'm sitting there proud of the way I carried and conducted myself. Um, and I'm sitting there proud of what would have been an illustrious career. Okay, what an answer. Just to close off, as I said, this is a big fight live on TNT Sports. Denzel Bentley's on a rise. He's looking to try and grab another world title shot. This is the business. You're trying to ruin those plans and you're trying to elevate yourself into that position. Mm -hmm. We'll see on Saturday night. You said that in a press conference. But if you can tell me, why does Derek Kosasi beat Denzel Bentley? Derek Kosasi beats Denzel Bentley because he's going to beat Denzel Bentley. <laughs> Now, Uma, you know what? I really wanted to give you a better answer than that, but I can't give you what I don't have. And really and truthfully, I don't know if people have noticed, it's really not really like my area of commentary. And at the end of the day, I've trained hard, Denzel's trained hard. We're both good fighters and we'll get there on Saturday and one of our hands will be raised and I'm confident that it will be mine. Wicked. Well, listen, Derek, best of luck this Saturday. Thank you very much. Big fight, big occasion for yourself. So go well and we'll speak afterwards. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate God it. God bless.